everyone. My name is Megan Peterson, and I'm our Public Programs Weekday Manager here at the Ashland Institute. We want to take a few minutes to bring you guys our normal Saturday shark and ray feeding right to your home. So let's start with the animals that are living in this tank. So if you can see, we have three different species of animals in here that are considered cartilaginous. And for those of you at home who might not know what that means, you can touch your ear, touch your nose, you have cartilage in those places. So these animals all have cartilage for their skeletons, for their backbones, which is pretty amazing. It makes them very flexible and helps them move in the water. So the first species that we're going to talk about are our sharks. So if you see here, we have sharks that have spots on them with little horns right on their top fins or their dorsal fins. So these guys are going to come up to the top because for their food, they like to be fed right up here. Because they can come up to the top. Whereas our rays, or our guitar fish, these guys have really flattened mouths, and those flattened mouths actually allow them to eat here on the sand. So these guys, we call them all benthic. So these animals like to eat at the bottom. I'm gonna have to put some food here at the bottom for some of our friends. So all of them can get some food. Now sometimes our guitar fish come up to the top, as you can see here. So they have the ability to come up, but they're much more comfortable down on the sand. So all of our animals here actually have really interesting mouths. So our rays, or our round rays we call them, and our shovel-nosed guitar fish all have plate-like mouths. So they're used for crushing, things that live in the sand. So if you can think of some animals that like to live in the sand, like shelled animals. These guys are able to crush those shells and eat what's inside. Put a few more shrimp. Today we're feeding them their favorite, which is some shrimp and some krill. Some of the tiniest animals here, these guys eat every single day. Now what's really, really interesting is that you can tell the difference between a female and a male shark by their bottom fins. So males have two fins. They look like this. They're called claspers. And so all rays, guitarfish, and sharks have these fins, and they're able to be identified by those. If they come up to the glass, you'll be able to see those two fins. So hopefully you can get a shot of that for you. And something you'll also notice that's very unique about these benthic animals is the placement of their eyes. So while their mouths are at the bottom, their eyes are right on top. Now you can imagine that if you live on the sea floor, having eyes on the surface of your head is quite helpful because when you're trying to detect things above you, all you have to do is look up. want to make sure every single animal in here gets fed. So we like to put the food as close to the bottom and then they glide over it and they munch it up. Now luckily for them, our shrimps are all peeled for them. They don't really have to work too hard to get their food. We want to make it nice and easy.
may also notice that some of our horn sharks are a little bit of a different color. So a majority of horn sharks that you might notice look like this. Nice tan color with polka dots. Now all of them have this, but some of them in here, too specifically, are a little bit darker. Now, this is something kind of unique. These animals can change their color when they're in an environment where there's a lot more sun. So you can think of it like a tan. So these sharks here were in a bit of a different environment and their color changed. So we got them, they still have that color. The rest of this food we're actually going to use for some of our other critters. So for now, it looks like these guys are well fed and pretty happy. So I'm going to take the rest of this and feed some of our other critters. So thank you guys for joining us and we hope you learned a little bit about some of our critters and hope to see you guys all soon. Stay safe.